Penn State had answered all questions in their rise to number six in the polls, but a trip to Madison, Wisconsin to play a Badger team that had been in the top 10 just two weeks ago was their most difficult task to date. But from the opening kickoff, it was apparent that they had prepared well for this challenge. They were ready for the Badgers' renowned running game. Third and a yard. Nice early test. And Penn State passes with flying colors. Navarro Bowman cut through untouched. And for Wisconsin, it's three and out. Draw play to Hill. Taken out by Sales. He picks up four. It'll be third down and eight. Penn State defense in the first two drives. But came up with big plays when they had to. May have been again on third down. And he came into this game leading the nation. That's his eighth on the year. Penn State's defense would help create excellent field position for the Nittany Lions in the first quarter. Although the offense was a little sluggish to start, they still grabbed the lead thanks to their all-time leading scorer. The 50-yard attempt, that kick by Kevin Kelly is gone! And the Nittany Lions take a 3-0 lead. Hill again, left side bounds, and take it down for a loss back at the 28-yard line. Now it's going to be third down and three. Here comes Evans and drags him down back at the 22-yard line. You got this Penn State defense overwhelming that offensive line. In the second quarter, things opened up. Receiver Jordan Norwood returned to the lineup after missing two games with hamstring issues. Another weapon for quarterback Darrell Clark, who helped Penn State to their first touchdown with his arm, his legs, and his willingness to take one for the team. Rolling near side option play, they pick the ball to Royster from the near corner, touchdown Penn State. Good job by Clark, taking the hit on that option. They ran it last week against Purdue as well. Came back with it here, two score lead on a Wisconsin team that has not thrown a pass yet in this game. Penn State badgered Wisconsin quarterback Allen Everidge. When he tried to throw, he was pressured and sacked, and the Nittany Lions were bottling up their vaunted running game. Penn State allowed only one first down in Wisconsin's first five possessions. Williams gets a block from Daly at the 40, 45, Williams 50, Williams to the 40, 30, Williams on the near side, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Penn State! It was the fifth time in his career that Derek Williams has returned a punt or kickoff for a touchdown the third time this season. But Penn State had little time to celebrate as Allen Everidge finally completed his first pass with less than nine minutes to go in the half. And it went for 42 yards to Travis Beckham. Everidge himself scored on third and goal from the five. And when Penn State was forced to kick, the momentum seemed to be shifting until the Nittany Lions made their biggest defensive play of the game. Everidge to throw under pressure, lost the ball. There's the big mistake. Maven gets his right hand in there, coming over the top. The quarterback trying to run with the football to get out, out of the pocket. And it's a turnover you wanted. 132 left to go here in the first half. Flag down, pass interference on Allen Langford of Wisconsin. First and goal, quarterback draw. Clark dives on second effort, touchdown. Right there you see the strength of Darrell Clark. His momentum was stopped short of the goal line, but that second effort burst got him into the end zone. Maybe Penn State is just comfortable playing in prime time on national TV. This is the ninth straight year they've done it at least once in the second of three such games this season. While they benefited from great field position in the first half, their first two drives of the second half covered a lot of ground. Motion by Lawler, lone setback Royster, play action fake by Clark, he wants the end zone, he looks downfield, and Norwood makes the catch at the three yard line. Norwood does a great job of coming back to the football, getting that first foot down, inbound. Clark under center, Clark, short drop, quarterback draw, block from Royster to his right, Clark to the goal line, touchdown Penn State! Clark was showing a big time audience why he's one of the best quarterbacks in the college game today. He started the week leading the Big Ten in pass efficiency, 11th in the country. And the way he and his teammates were putting up points, it was more than enough for a Penn State defense that was dominating Wisconsin for the second straight year, allowing average only two completions before being replaced while nothing seemed to intimidate Penn State's offense. Third and 21 for their own eight. Here comes the blitz, and back goes Clark. Rolling near side in trouble, being chased, delivers downfield. Norwood at the 28-yard line, and that's a first down. Back goes Clark, four-man rush, steps up, waits, a lot of time. Now rolls far side, everything breaks down. He looks downfield, he throws it downfield. It is caught, first down. Somehow kept the play alive, made a perfect toss down the sideline to James McDonald. I mean, th this I is agree. the best football team, I think, in the Big Ten right now. 
Play action, Clark again. He sets up again. He waits. He throws downfield wide open. It's Butler. Touchdown, Penn State. And this is just broken wide open here. Butler stretches out, makes the catch, and goes in for the score. It was crystal clear that Penn State's spread HD offense was too much for the Badgers to handle. The Nittany Lions were building the most lopsided win in Penn State Wisconsin series history. They were doing it with all facets of their game. And as the night wore on, with players from all over the depth chart. Average on the run, it's picked off. Penn State just dominating. Lydell Sargent with his first pick of the year. Kevin Kelly got closer to the all-time Big Ten scoring record with another field goal, and Sargent would add a second interception. Pat Devlin came in at quarterback and led one final Penn State touchdown drive. A great night, but still, up next, a team with nine straight wins over Penn State.